Hello everyone and welcome to Fifth North. I'm Demir and today I'm covering the five things that I really like about this 2023 Suzuki Hayabusa. Okay, so before I dive in on a complete side note, I have to say that I'm still blown away by the fact that lane splitting and lane filtering in California are legal. Um, it is honestly just wild to me. Um, in Texas, that would definitely be a ticket. Um, earlier I was lane splitting right by a cop and he even moved over to give me more space to lane split and my brain was just like, what is happening right now? This is amazing. Seriously, coolest thing ever and I really don't get why all states don't allow that. But anyway, let's get back on topic. So if you have been following this channel, you know that I'm out here in SoCal. I'm currently riding on the PCH on a 2023 Suzuki Hayabusa in this very classic black color, which by the way looks absolutely fantastic. Um, Suzuki was kind enough to loan me this bike, so big shout out to Suzuki. Um, thank you guys very much for that. Um, and I've had the chance to really enjoy it and take it in um, in many different environments. You know, I've been on the freeway, done some freeway riding, um, done some city riding, some canyons, uh, a little bit of traffic like we have right here, and then obviously the PCH as well. So all over the place. Um, so I feel that I'm ready to give you my my five things that I like, so uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So number one on the list of five things that I like about the Suzuki Hayabusa is not only the fact that this bike has a ton of power, but also that you get to choose how that power is delivered. So let's start with the first and obvious, right? It is a 1300cc inline four making roughly 190 horsepower. Um, this bike is fast and I mean super fast. It will comfortably get you in triple digits before you had a chance to blink. Uh, and if you are a speed junkie, this bike will not disappoint. Passing, merging onto the freeway, and just having fun during spirited rides is just effortless for the Busa. All right, now that we got a little bit out of that traffic, um, at no point in any situation during my time with this bike did I ever feel like it needed more power. It just simply doesn't. It's fast, and I absolutely love it. But with that being said, you don't always ride flat out right at least i don't um, also some high power bikes are just too twitchy with the throttle uh, the throttle inputs just kind of like every little bit just wants to rip your head off right and so because of the high horsepower count you have to be very careful but that's not the case here right with the busa the power is really linear and the acceleration input especially when you put it into b mode is just comfortable it just doesn't have that quick jerk reaction to acceleration and i like that um, honestly, I absolutely love that. The fact is that I can have a comfortable bike for cruising or touring, more on that later, um, or for commuting, right, when I want to, and then I can also have a crazy speed missile when I want to as well, all from the same bike. To me, that is just awesome. All right, so moving on, number two on my list of five things that I like about the Suzuki Hayabusa. I just touched on it and that is the touring ability. I mean, it's just insane. In one day, I've actually done over 300 miles on this bike. And for those of you who ride, you know that's a lot of miles. Um, but for a sport, a super sport or a hyper sport bike, that is really a lot of miles. I mean, I'm not on a cruiser or, or a touring bike here. I'm on a performance weapon and yet I am still comfortable. I am not fatigued. I am not sore. I am literally good to keep going now honestly it's unreal to me how comfortable this bike is i actually rode this busa back to back with one of suzuki's own touring bikes and i have to say there wasn't a huge difference in comfort now that isn't a knock to the touring bike that is just how good this hayabusa is again in the previous item number one on the list i mentioned that the hayabusa was in a way like having two bikes a bike that is super fast powerful and sporty yet can comfortably cruise around town from a power and speed perspective, well the same is true from a comfort and handling standpoint. Um, I mentioned it in my previous video when discussing my first ride on how much the Hayabusa surprised me and how I completely misjudged this bike and the more miles I put on it, the more that becomes true. And uh, I'm not really feeling this red light here, so let me go ahead and squeeze up to the front again. I love doing this. Ooh, that sounds nice. Come on, green light. All right, let's go see if we can catch up. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, I mean, look, the PCH is a great ride, right? It really is, but there are parts, right? Like when you get to 
um, the center of Laguna or Newport Beach where traffic can pick up. You guys saw it a little bit earlier and you have to slow down and still no issues, right? I'm still fully comfortable. That is an absolutely beautiful view. Uh, I honestly, you guys like riding up and down this road. I I'm just like enjoying it way too much. It's the point where I'm like, ooh, squirrel. Like, what was I talking about? Let me just go back to staring at the ocean for a few minutes here. And uh, I'll try to remember what it was that I was talking about. Right, so I was saying that when you get into the center of, say, Laguna or Newport Beach, um, where traffic can pick up, you do slow down, and it's still no issues. I'm still fully comfortable. Um, doesn't matter if I'm going fast, slow, stop and go, uh, one-handed, two-handed. Uh, it really just doesn't matter. The boost is just super comfortable. So it's really, to me, it's just truly impressive. All right, so with that said, moving on to number three on the list of uh, things that I do love about this bike. And number three on the list is the quick shifter. Now, as many of you know from my previous videos, if you are a returning viewer, if you are, thank you again for being uh, for being one. I am very, very picky when it comes to my quick shifter. As a matter of fact, if the quick shifter isn't great, I won't even use it. I'll just go straight back to the standard clutch operation and just forget the bike even has a quick shifter now with that being said i'm very happy to report that the quick shifter on the hayabusa is top notch very smooth and in my um and in my time with the bike i have had literally zero issues with it no jerkiness no missing gears no hesitation it's been absolutely fantastic now whether you're shifting up or down it always did exactly as i expected it to do and i mentioned earlier about touring comfort I think the quick shifter definitely adds to that as it's so smooth that even when I'm putting around and stop and go traffic, I can literally ride one handed and shift without any issues um, or fear of balance, um, fear of balance loss um, from the jerkiness or kickback from changing gears. So job well done on the quick shifter to Suzuki. Uh, absolutely uh, job well done. All right, so let's jump forward to number four on my list of things that I like about the Suzuki Hayabusa. Um, this is going to be the aerodynamics and the wind protection. Um, just stepping back and looking at this bike, it's very clear that it was designed with aero in mind. Now granted, you know, my personal bike is a sports naked, so you might just be like, Demir, look, any level of wind protection for you is going to be awesome because you normally feel like you're, you know, being blasted by a hurricane with no protection, uh, you know, <laughs> no protection whatsoever. Um, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that the Hayabusa is really well designed. So like I was saying, um, it, it, the Hayabusa really is that well, uh, that well designed. And, and when I took it out on the freeway and I put some twists to the throttle, I really didn't feel like much wind at freeway speeds. Um, even when, when uh, you know, still sitting fairly upright, I wasn't exactly tucked. I still didn't feel that wind. And then especially when tucked, um, the protection is fantastic. I'm not overly tall at six feet, but still um, on many bikes that I've ridden, it seems like the wind protection just moved the air away from my chest and right into my head. Um, that is not the case here. I feel like the bike is doing its job and protecting me from the wind um, just fine. So honestly, I think because of that, this might be a good option for uh, bigger riders out there who might have experienced that um, wind problem on other bikes in the past. Um, also, the aero seems to work really well at speed too, um, as the bike just feels very stable and planted. On other bikes, I've experienced a lot of um, a lot more movement at freeway speeds caused by you know grooves in the road or from um, from random wind gusts or you know things like that. And the boosted just felt planted. Um, I'm sure you know weight has a bit to do with it as well, um, but it also just felt like the arrow added that steady um, added to that steady planted feeling. So again, um, I think the arrow and the um, wind protection are absolutely fantastic. All right, we have made it to the end of the list, and last but not least is number five on my list of five things that I like about the 2023 Suzuki Hayabusa, and that is that it is big, but it does not feel big. Um, you're probably sensing a theme here as all of the items on the list so far have kind of related to each other, so let me explain. The Hayabusa has a wet weight of 582 pounds, and it is honestly fairly long but it feels no less heavy from a um, negative standpoint, no less agile than many of the 400 pound naked bikes that I've ridden um, 
that were also shorter too, right? And what I'm saying is that the, the Hayabusa is really good at carrying its weight and size and the suspension, the braking, the handling characteristics are all done really well so that you don't really feel that weight. Um, when you look at the bike, it looks big. When you sit on the bike, there's plenty of room for larger riders and enough room for a passenger to fit comfortably as well. But yet still, when you're on it and you're riding in a spirited manner, it feels like a glove, like there is no extra space around you. Um, I hope that makes sense, it's kind of hard to explain, but it just kind of works. And the size and weight of it combined um, with the arrow makes the bike extremely stable. Um, it just tracks so well in a straight line and it just it just stays straight, like it, on the freeway, on the street, and I really like that. This goes back to my comment on touring. I believe that the super straight and steady track um, definitely adds to that touring comfort that I mentioned earlier. All right, so I said it multiple times now, but I think that there is a theme here. All five items on this list are pointing to the fact that the Hayabusa, though known for its speed and performance, which are undeniable, um, is just a really great, well-rounded bike that can do many things really well. Um, with that said, that is my list of five things that I like about the 2023 Suzuki Hayabusa. What are your thoughts on my list? Uh, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. And remember, if you do like this video or if you think the Suzuki Hayabusa is dope, hit that like button for me. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. That way you know when the next video is coming out. Um, speaking of next videos, lots more bike reviews coming up as well as some great gear reviews. So make sure to stay tuned. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.